Classic to Gothic architecture is also the sense of layering. And so you have arch after arch after arch, both in the cloister but also in the building, that give you this sense of, of movement um, and uh, things that are sort of alive, you're moving from one level to the next, as it were. And in terms of your prayer, it's sort of the same way. Walking through a cloister garden or something like that, you have a sense that you're attempting to, to dive deeper into layer after layer of, of divine contemplation and who God in himself is. So we have various offices in the administrative wing, the rector's office, the office of the spiritual director, the office of the academic dean, uh, Sister Mary Raphael, who is the uh, house administrator. Behind me is the original crucifix when we started the seminary in 2016 that the bishop placed in our first um, house, our first convent that we lived in. And it's part of the rite of a blessing of a seminary to place a crucifix in there. And this crucifix was important to me personally. It was given to me by a man that I brought back into the church after having been away for years and he himself was an art collector and when communism fell in Russia um, he had gone in there and began to buy up art and um, he gave it to me in Thanksgiving but he also gave it in sort of reparation because it's a very old piece of, of, of art and he thinks somewhere around the 14th century. He did it as reparation because he said he kind of stole it because people were so poor that they were getting rid of anything just to get bread. And so he said, I want to give back, the, as it were, uh, the bread of life to you um, in reparation for what I, what I did in my greed. And I just thought it was a beautiful story. Um, so, and plus it's a glorious old crucifix, so we use that as the, uh, as the crucifix for the seminary.